Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Lali over here. I'm so sorry for taking long to upload content for you guys. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm not gonna give you guys empty promises or fake promises because sure, uh, guys, the way school hits, oh my gosh, you don't even get time to make, to create any content. As for me right now, the only day I'm free, like really free, is Monday after one o'clock. But I always don't get time because I have other things to do. But anyways, if you are a new viewer, hi, my name is Linnea Iyambo, I go by Lardy. I'm 21 years old, I'm a student, PSI and a makeup artist. Anyways, as you saw in the title, today's video is question and answer, live update and get to know me video. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer a few questions. I'm gonna answer a few questions you guys ask me to answer, so let's get into the video. <laughs> Hi guys, so um, this is how I'm going to answer the questions for you guys. I'm going to start from the highly requested questions to the just regular, regular annoying boring questions i'm joking i'm joking the most asked question was um where am i schooling or where am i studying or am i in university or okay yeah what am i studying if i'm studying like um i'm studying at the international university of management that's ium i'm, I'm doing my second year diploma in health and wellness studies oh my gosh she's just studying health and wellness and you're mad. You're so mad. I'm just leveraging myself. It's not my end goal. I'm gonna get more qualifications. This is just the beginning. And there's nothing wrong with health and wellness. I'm studying health and wellness studies. <laughs> okay. No. Someone asked, what do I do to check in with myself? Well, I don't know how I'm gonna answer this honestly. What do I do to check in? Well, this is how I check in with myself. Um, at least three times a week. Well, I like to set aside some quiet time to reflect on my feelings and thoughts. Well, this involves jogging, working out, reading, or meditating. I don't usually meditate, but like, yeah, I do it sometimes. That I only meditate when I really feel like my mind is cluttered and I, my thoughts are just going spiral. That yeah, that's technically what I do to check in with myself. It's nothing really extra. But the second question is where am I from? Well, I'm I'm from Windu. Uh, I didn't really grow up in. I was born in Windu, but I didn't really grow up in Windu. Middle school, I schooled in the south, and then high school, I came back to Windu. Um, yeah, so how do I answer that? I'm from Windhoek. I'm gonna say I'm from Windhoek. Yeah, say the following question someone asked, What inspires me? You know what inspires me? People who really know how to make money, people who have a knack for making money. Like, those people really inspire me a lot. Like, technically, people who are skilled at making money, they just know how to make money. Like, no matter how how dumb the idea sounds that person is gonna generate income from that idea yeah i think the following question is what is my favorite song well my favorite songs changes often but right now i'm really into hypnotic data by audit auditor or auditory yeah that's my favorite song but i love any genre, I'm a sucker for any genre. I listen to anything and any any artist. So I'm I'm not those boring girls like that only listen to one genre and kill everybody's mood when the music is playing. Like why are you playing that? No, I'm not I'm not like that. I vibe to anything, like me gusta everything. Okay. My, the following question is what do I do on my free time? What does Lardy do on their free time? <laughs> Well, during weekdays, I love to just 
make my days as productive as I can because I mean I have school I'm a full-time student so the days when my, my classes are starting maybe from 11 a.m. or 1 p.m. I like to make my mornings very productive which is like waking up reading the Bible working out reading eating breakfast or journaling guys i'm a sucker for journaling okay i love journaling honestly i don't think i can ever go back to not journaling because i like my mind is very crazy there's too much in this head so i like to write down my thoughts and things that i don't talk about so oh i told you guys during the weekdays during the weekends i'd rather just maybe go for a sunday morning run or a sunday evening run i don't run on saturdays or fridays fridays I work hard in the morning because my classes start at 1 p.m. So yeah, that's technically what I do. Someone asked, do I consider myself as an influencer? When did I start considering myself as an influencer and how do I feel about it? Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Well, primarily, I've always seen myself as a personal blogger. I've never really seen myself as an influencer, even on my instagram bio okay i just removed it a few days ago there was it has always been personal blog not um not influencer or whatnot i enjoy sharing my personal experiences and thoughts with my followers or my audience so someone asked what's my aspiration in life my main aspiration in life my, my main aspiration in life is to become a psychologist while majoring in clinical psychology so i hope to own my own firm one day and also aim to grow my current business into a well-established company yeah so i want to be you guys are gonna call me dr lardy dr big lardy I'm joking. Oh my goodness, someone asked for boy advice. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I think I'm the wrong person to ask that because I clearly suck at that. I, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Like, I don't think I'm the person you should ask that. But guys, I really do not have boy advice because I'm currently, at, I'm not struggling at that. Well, I find, my, I find it difficult. Guys, love is hard. What advice am I gonna give you? Just be yourself in that relationship. Be, be honest with a person, honestly. Honesty is the only thing that will, honesty and loyalty is what will make the relationship work out. But I, do, I really don't have advice. Yeah. Just be honest with yourself and with a person. I think the relationship is gonna work out. Someone asked, someone asked, how do I cope, cope with being a student and a business owner? So I started my business in 2020, my piercing business in 2020. Um, that time I was grade 11. Um, so for me, like my piercing business has always been a side hustle. It, like, I don't work full time. I'm a full-time student, so within the within the years, I've learned how to manage my time as a student and as a, and as a business owner. So I don't really find it challenging because um, I didn't just start my business now, and I'm not a full-time business owner. Like I'm a part-time. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? Like I'm a full-time student, and I may I do manage to make time for my business at the same time. Do you guys understand that? But in most cases, it's challenging because maybe for say, let me say I'm at school and there's a client that wants to get pierced immediately. I won't be able to pierce them that exact time because I'm at school and I have to like reschedule them for another time. In most cases, they are maybe not interested. So I kind of like lose out or making money. So uh, yeah. It's kind of hard, but like I think I'm used to it, and I think I'm I'm fine with it. Like right now, while I'm I'm, I'm still in school, I think I'm okay with it. But like if I if I wasn't in school, I think my business would be in a totally different position right now. Like I would have more time to give services services to my clients, and right now. Right now, I'm not complaining. I'm actually not complaining. I think I'm fine. I think I'm doing great. I think I'm doing great. So, yeah. I'm used to it, so I'm doing great. 
Okay, the next question. What is the most important thing to me right now? What is the most important thing to me right now? Well, I would say the most important thing to me right now is my happiness and my peace. For the longest I've been, I've actually, I'm, I'm sorry, actually this is like something very emotional for me. Um, for the longest time, I've, oh my God. For, for the longest time, I've been working on my inner peace and inner happiness. I've been, for the past seven to eight months, I've been working on my personal development. Basically, it was a personal development journey for me. Um, I was not a happy person at all. Last year, let me say a year ago, I was not a happy person. I was not a happy person. I'm a totally different person right now. And honestly, within the process, I've learned to accept that this is my philosophy I've learned to accept that everything happens for a reason and honestly no setback is permanent it's just temporal so I'm um, sh like in most cases if you find yourself in a difficult position or situation you shouldn't beat yourself up because it's gonna be okay it's really gonna be okay no matter what you think it's always gonna be okay you are gonna be fine you are gonna get out of that dark hole you are gonna be okay and as for me right now I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you I I'm gonna say also during my personal development journey I've learned to embrace every moment that meant something to me every I learned how to embrace every special moment to me because why should I why should I be entitled and also during my personal development journey I've learned how to forgive I've learned how to forgive myself as myself I've learned how to forgive myself and others it's kind of hard to forgive others especially if they've done you wrong but like holding holding on to grudges is gonna make you an angry human being and who wants to be angry hmm? what did the world do to you nah nah yeah so i would say the most important thing to me is my happiness like if you really if you're really if you are really just gonna stress me out I'm gonna cut you off because I mean once or twice or three times is good it's fine like if you constantly keep stressing me out and fucking me up mentally I'm gonna cut you off no matter what you mean to me because my happiness and my mental health is very important to me so if you don't take your mental health serious I don't know what to say to you my love yeah um someone asked again what's the biggest highlight of my year what is the biggest highlight of my year? Ugh. Oh, they also asked for a life update. What's the biggest highlight of my year? I would say the biggest highlight, the biggest highlight of my year, I think, um, I think the biggest highlight of my year is my personal development journey that I started last year in October. Um, if I honestly didn't start or decide to hop onto any personal development journey, I think by now I would have actually went crazy. <laughs> well, I've been dedicated to reading a variety of personal development books that have been actually helping me to become a better person mentally, physically, and emotionally. Oh, it's actually also socially. Well, I'm not gonna lie, this ongoing process has significantly transformed me in ways I cannot explain. Like I said earlier, I am not the same person I was a year ago, and I'm very grateful to God for allowing me and giving me the opportunity to change myself because oof, life is great. My personal development journey has transformed me in a sense where I can be able to think very well and articulate myself very well. Reading books is good guys, so you better start reading books. It's not even a joke. And also, this is just the beginning of my personal development journey because it hasn't even been a year yet. It hasn't even been a year yet and honestly, I don't ever want to stop learning. I want to learn new skills. I want to get new hobbies. I want to learn. I want to learn until the day I die. Yeah. So that was the biggest highlight of my year. And life update. What would the life update be? 
I uh, think I think I'll make a another I think I'll make a video about that. Let me get that intro, the intro, the intro, the intro.